Now moving on, illegal, unregulated pharmacies have become more prominent in recent years. Criminal enterprises have developed niche advertising and are selling largely over the internet. Now they sell medication at cheap prices found nowhere else, but these savings come with a price. The drugs are often counterfeit, unregulated, non-compliant, and are sometimes laced with dangerous substances. Now more than 120,000 people a year die in Africa because of unregulated anti-malarial drugs alone. That's according to the World Health Organization. It is on these grounds that Kenya is hosting the continent's first Pharmaceutical Compliance Regulatory Conference right here in Nairobi. And joining me in the studio to discuss this is Anthony Toro Teach. He's the head of trade affairs at Kenya's Pharmacy and Poisons Board. Welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's talk about uh, the counterfeit drug industry. We know it's a billion dollar industry right now. Uh, does the onus lie with the regulators or does it lie with practitioners in the sector when it comes to curbing this problem and solving the, the problem of counterfeit drugs in Africa? Uh, counterfeit medicines, uh, it, 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 it lies majorly with the regulators, but it has to be, uh, to be handled hand in hand with the intellectual property owners because it would be very difficult to, to identify a counterfeit in med for medicines when, when the, intellectual, the owner of the product does not explain exactly how it has been counterfeited. So it has to be a collaborative uh, arrangement between the regulator and the owner of the product where the product is being counterfeited. Mm -hmm. so, and, and then there is an agency, which, uh, which in Kenya here mm -hmm. is an agency called Anti-Counterfeiting Agency, which now we have to work together to be able to curb this problem. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's there's a lot of agencies like this. Back in Nigeria, NAFDAC oh, yes. was one of the main agencies that worked together with the government. So you're yeah. saying it has to be a concerted yeah. uh, effort. But give us an idea of the scale of the problem, especially here in Kenya. How do these guys get these drugs imported into the country? And how big of an issue is it? In Kenya so far, I can tell you we've not uh, got a real big problem with counterfeit. The main problem maybe that we can be able to say is we have been trying to deal with uh, substandard medicines. That one can be about maybe less than 5% is the one that are there. And substandards are usually confused with counterfeits mm. because people tend to think that when something is substandard, it's actually a counterfeit, but we, that's not true. A substandard item can occur during manufacturing, an error can occur during manufacturing, or maybe uh, during transportation, a, a product can deteriorate and then it becomes of poor quality. Mm. So those are the things that people tend to confuse. But counterfeiting as a, as a, as a, as a problem is not something that, that, that is a big problem in our country. Yeah. Uh, as a pharmacy and poisons board, we work cl closely with the, with the, with the anti-counterfeiting agency. So far, we've not had a lot of complaints about counterfeit. The ones that we've had alerts, we make we, we, we follow up, uh, end up becoming what we call parallel imports. Mm. I don't know if I can explain what parallel imports is. Maybe very quickly. Yeah, quickly. Is, uh, parallel imports are products being sourced from a different market because of price differential. So people tend to think that they are counterfeit, but they are not counterfeits. All right. Yep. Well, we know Kenya held a conference uh, today. It's a oh, first, yes. actually, for the country. We saw members of the pharmaceutical industry and, of course, regulators gather uh, to discuss solutions to this problem. Uh, give us some sense of what are the findings and uh, what came out of this conference. This conference is still going on. It started today. It's ending tomorrow. This conference is the first one that we are holding in the country. We've never had a conference like this one where we are, with the regulator is, is interacting with the stakeholders to try and look at the challenges that the industry is from the industry side of, of it. So we, 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 we try and allow the industry to, to speak the problem, to tell us the, their problems, and then we try and look also for solutions, not only highlighting the problems, but they, they try and tell us what are, the, uh, what are the, rec the proposed recommendations. So by end of tomorrow, we hope to have a complete resolution of the of, of, of how we can deal with, if it's a policy problem, we, how, how we going, we're going to sort out that problem. Mm. If it's, let's say, legislative, how we're going to sort it out. Yes. So we hope to have good recommendations tomorrow 
both from the regulator and from the stakeholders. Mm. Now, there mm. are some countries in Africa that have gotten uh, it right when it comes to curbing that counterfeit yes. uh, drugs or the issues in the sector. For example, we mentioned Nakada in Nigeria, mm. here mm. in Kenya as well. Mm. Uh, there are some great moves. Who are the great examples uh, that African countries can learn from when it comes to curbing that issue of counterfeit drugs? Uh, I think the best, uh, the best case that is e ever documented is the one of N Nakada. But even us here locally, we tend not to, because the fact that uh, we, we, we actually don't blow our trumpet so many times, but, but we have really tried as an agency to put up a very good system of post-marketing surveillance. And this, is, this system is, the, is a very good system that has been able to allow us to, to control the, any, any legal trade in, in, the, in our market. So, but in generally what, what we are working as, as, a, as a Africa as a region, I think the best thing is we, we are trying to harmonize our, our regulatory requirements all over Africa mm. through an initiative called African Medicine Regulatory Harmonization Initiative. And we hope like, we can be able to, to have one voice as regulators throughout the rural region so that we can be able to, re to reduce the, the the prevalence of counterfeits in our region. Quite interesting. Yeah. Well, yeah. many thanks for joining us in Thank the studio. Uh, Anthony Toratich is the head of trade affairs with Pharmacy and Poisons Board.